this important step. Today we have a board certified clinical pharmacist, Madeline Aquilano, here to talk about the importance of disposing any unneeded medications and how you can actually do that safely. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you. I know I fall into that trap. I'm sure we all do, but why is it so important Absolutely. to clean out your medication supply at home? Yeah, so I always think of two major reasons for disposing of medications at home. The first being that it's simply expired. So all medications, both over-the-counter and prescription, have carried expiration dates since 1979, and these expiration dates are critical to determine if a medication is safe to use. So medication, expired medications can become less effective, but they may also actually pose a health risk due to changes in the chemical composition, potential bacterial growth, and more. So essentially, once a medication is expired, it's no longer guaranteed safe and effective, so you don't want to use it. And then the second reason is because they're simply no longer needed. Maybe you have extra opioids laying around from a surgery. Maybe your provider just changed a medication, but you still have some of it at home. Whatever the case may be, if you don't need it, expose of it. And that really helps to decrease the risk of our children and pets accidentally ingesting them and being harmed. Yeah, so how do you safely dispose of these medications? Well, first I will say, if your provider has given you specific instructions for a medication, definitely follow that. But in general, best practice is drug take-back centers, but you can dispose of medications at home if you need to. And if you were to, let's say, do a quick Google search on how to dispose of medications at home, you may come across what's called the flush method or flush list. But it is very important to note that this method is actually not endorsed by Connecticut because flushing medications down the toilet or sink can actually cause water pollution. They impact drinking water. They can also have adverse effects on the septic systems, fish, and other aquatic life. Okay. So to dispose of medications safely at home, you want to follow four steps. Um, and the first is to keep medication in its original container and remove personal information. Then you want to modify that medication in some manner to discourage consumption. And then you seal and conceal in a non-see-through bag. And then step four is simply getting rid of that in the regular trash. Okay, some good uh, information there. And if you want to get more information about the four steps and being safe, uh, you can visit hardforhealthcare.org slash pharmacy. Madeline, thank